With Family Setup, you can use your iPhone to set up and manage an Apple Watch for a family member, such as a child, who doesn't have their own iPhone. We'll cover how to pair your child's Apple Watch with your iPhone and walk you through how to set up some Apple Watch features. We'll also show you how to change your child's Apple Watch settings. Before you start, make sure you've updated your iPhone to iOS 14 and that your child has an Apple Watch Series 4 or later with cellular. You and your child also need to be part of a family sharing group. If you're not already, you can do this during setup. First, let's pair your child's Apple Watch with your iPhone. Ask your child to put the Apple Watch on, bring it near your iPhone, and tap Continue at the bottom of your iPhone screen. Then tap Set up for a family member, and tap Continue. Next, ask your child to hold the Apple Watch underneath your iPhone camera. Once the watch is paired, Tap Set up Apple Watch. During the next part of the setup process, we'll set up some of the features on your child's Apple Watch. Continue to follow the prompts until you reach the family sharing screen. You and your child must be part of the same family sharing group in order for their Apple Watch to work. If you haven't used family sharing before, you can create a family sharing group during this part of the setup process. Tap Use Existing Apple ID if your child already has an Apple ID. Or tap Create New Apple ID if they don't have one yet. Then follow the prompts to create your group. When you reach the Cellular Setup screen, follow the prompts to activate the cellular plan for your child's Apple Watch. You can add a plan with the same cellular carrier as your iPhone or a different carrier if your carrier doesn't support family setup. When you get to the Health Data screen, Tap Request Health Data to ask your child if they want to share their health data with your iPhone. Your child will be asked to approve or deny this request on their Apple Watch. Ask them to tap Share if they approve. Next, follow the on-screen steps to set up Emergency SOS, Emergency Contacts, and Medical ID information. You can set up any of these features later in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone as well. You can also use screen time to set limits for how your child uses their watch, including who they can message. If you already use screen time with your child and they have contacts set up, they will sync automatically during this process. If not, you can select which contacts from your iPhone to share with your child's Apple Watch. Next, you can set up a screen time passcode. You can make additional screen time changes, like communication limits, later in settings. School time can help your child focus during school hours by restricting access to apps yeah. and notifications. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Turn on Everybody school knows time. I ain't faking now. Then adjust Everybody the days knows and my hours. heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates Tap me now. I'm mistakes, but now I don't ever want to be That's alone. Okay. I don't really and ever you're all done home. setting up your child's Apple Watch. Zone. That's the only way I know. Feeling low. Once you set it up, back up. you can change your child's Apple Watch settings anytime. Gotta pop a couple more aspirin. I don't think I'll ever let you in. Easier to break it off. Best friends. I don't really understand my if you and your child are in different locations, you can change certain settings at school time by tapping the I next to your child's Apple Watch. Or if your child is nearby, tap the image of your child's Apple Watch to adjust any of its settings. And that's it. Now your family member is ready to get started with their Apple Watch. To learn more about your Apple products, subscribe to the Apple Support Channel or click another video to keep watching.